Hi friends, it's Erin. Hey, I'm gonna make a real quick video here. I'm gonna try to keep this under five minutes on how I made the handprint artwork that I posted on our Instagram. Uh, if you are not following us on Instagram and this is the first time you've seen these, first of all, I'll hold it up a little bit longer. Second of all, I'll put our Instagram handles below. So make sure that you follow us and then you can keep up with all of the cool things that we're doing in between our recordings. Okay, I'm gonna get going. I'm trying to keep this quick. <laughs> Okay, so the materials you're gonna need are pretty simple. You're gonna need some wipes. These are what you're gonna to use to clean hands at the very end of this. Or you can do feet, by the way. This is not, you don't have to just use hands. Whatever will fit within the um, framed Ada, you can use. I use Crayola, the washable, um, toxic-free, normal paint that you can get at any craft store or you can buy on Amazon. I like to use these spongy paint brushes. I think that they uh, cover the hand better, but you can use any paintbrush, obviously. And then just a paper plate to put the paint onto. You will need framed Ada. This is what it looks like. I got mine from Amazon and I will try to include a link below. This is the tan color and it also comes in the white, which is what I stitched this in. I think there's also a black, which would be cool, but I don't know how this project would work on that. I mean, more power to you if you can figure that out. These are about uh, $8 on Amazon, and I think you can use coupons if you get them at like, you know, Joann's and whatnot and get them for a little bit cheaper, but that's what I paid. Um, okay, and then you need your floss to stitch afterwards. I'm probably gonna do this next one in um, that sparkly 666, but I used just normal DMC uh, red 666 for this one it's my daughter's favorite color um okay i think that's it for supplies so let's get into how this works okay i'm sorry you guys i forgot one thing that you should use uh, a tide pen so anytime that they get a little extra paint that's why we use the washable paint you can take the tide pen and just really quickly like scrub it out really get it soaking wet scrub it out it does not leave a mark afterwards I, I got two giant bits off of this one and I thought that it turned out great so Tide pen okay so actually putting this project together is very simple what you're going to do is paint the hand and I would recommend if you have never done handprint or footprint art practicing several times get a lot of paper practice how much pressure you need to push how much paint you need to have on the hand Practice, 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 because the worst thing that you could do is just go right into it and have them put it onto your Ada, and then you've ruined your Ada because you can't take that off. And if it's off, there's really nothing you can do. So practice first. Um, a couple of tricks that I've learned, I do a lot of these footprint and handprint arts. I send these cards out to family and friends. And a couple of tricks that I've learned is if you're working with a baby, get one of those seats that kind of sits them up those like plasticky seats, they're very easily to, easy to wash. Uh, have an iPad playing of some kind of video because it distracts them and then they're not, they don't care if their foot is being, you know, messed with and painted on and put into things. Uh, snacks help. Snacks are always like my go-to for that. Um, and just like distract. Distract and get it done and then be out of there. Uh, the hand is harder. It's harder to get them to like open their hand up and get it to the right spot. So you're just going to have to be patient. You kind of just shake it, get them to loosen up, and then you can get it to push down. If they're old enough, it's a really good idea to show them ahead of time. Have them put their hand onto the piece of Ada without paint on it and show them where you want it to go because you want it to go within the limits of the wood frame. You can't have it on the wood frame because you can't stitch there. You can only stitch to about here. So you need it to go there. It also limits your capability of how big the hand or foot can be. So my four and a half year old's foot is actually too big for these pre-framed Adas. Now, you could use just a normal piece of linen or Ada and do the same thing and just frame it. That's of course an option. But if you want to use these pre-framed Adas, you're limited by how big the hand and foot is. Okay, so once they've put the paint onto the fabric, then I just went through and outlined using a simple back stitch, nothing fancy. And then I went back 
after I had it outlined and I X'd anywhere, I could do a full X. So if you look closely, you'll see that there are gaps. I'm not gonna do a quarter stitch or fill those in. I like the way it looks, that it's a little bit more, um, it looks more like a real handprint when you don't fill it in all the way, I think. That's just my personal artistic opinion. If you want to fill that in, go for it. And I also, that's why I kept like the center because I thought it just made it look more like an actual handprint. Uh, you could also just trace it, just do the back stitch and not fill it in with X's. I actually thought that that looked pretty cool when I had that done, but I, I just like the finished look. This just feels more finished to me and more permanent. I don't know why, because paint is permanent, but that's just not quite dark enough for me. So that's the difference. I just think it pops a little bit more. So once I finished stitching that, then I just found a free font online, measured out the name, put it in, and then I added the date at the bottom the same way. I just wrote June 2020, four years old. And then for the baby, uh, same thing, just eight months old. So I just worked on my spacing ahead of time before I did it. Um, also, if you notice a baby's hand, it's a little bit different. It's not going to be quite as sharp and dynamic as the bigger kid's hand. You know, their chubby little hands can only do so much. Um, but I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think that it turned out cute. Her cute little chubby hand. Those are my finished products. Super simple. I hope you have fun making it. I would love to see your finishes if you could tag me and post about it. And good luck. Have fun. Bye.